Shabbat Shalom, Shalom Rastafari, Shabbat Shalom, Sendet Salam. Okay, so here we are. This is the 47th uh, Torah portion reading and seating. Now let's uh, go forward right here. We're in the Sabbath house reading chart right here. You can get it from I and I website. So what we want to do is actually go to the 40, 47. So those who are studying along with I and I. And here we go right here. Here's, this is on page 7. So you go to the top of page 7. And this is where, this is where we're at, right? On top of page 7. We hit 47 on page 7. Let's bring that up a little bit. It's called Bamarinya in the Metzav Kedus of Negus and the Guest. It is called Eneho. Eneho. In the Hebrew, it is Re'eh. Re'eh. So this is the portion. This is where we're at. This is the sabbatical portion for... 2012, August 25th, 2012. Eneho, Eneho. Now in the Hebrew, the Ibrayist Kwankwa, right, in the Hebrew is re, re, or it depends on how it's pointed, it depends on which um, Jews or those who say they are Jews who are trying to reconstruct the Hebrew. Now we, as the once lost but now found beta, Israel, we can go to our Ethiopic, as Ethiopian Hebrews, as the Beta Israel or the Falashas of the West, right? We, the black people, you understand, in this hemisphere, 400 plus years, Ethiopian Holocaust, you know who we be, and we have to know who we be in His Imperial Majesty and in God's Word. All right, so we want to begin off right here with the Sabbath House reading, 40. Seven and want to have a visual so one can see it and follow along, right, for themselves. Now, this particular Torah portion, if we scroll over, we scroll over, we have Deuteronomy chapter 11, right, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 26, to Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse uh, 17, right? That's the Torah portion. And then right here is the Haftarah. Right, the Haftarah, or what we call the Nabiyat, the prophetical portion, Isaiah 54, 11 to Isaiah 55 and 5. Then we have right here the last column, and see um, those Jews or Hebrews, right, that don't accept Yeshua HaMoshiach, they're not in the Burt Hadasha, and this is the New Testament, right, or the New Covenant, John 7, verses 37 to verse 52 and 1 John chapter 4 verses 1 to 6 alright so these are the three main readings that we have here for this Torah portion reading and feeding so it's very important for us to get familiar to hear the word right and to also read the word in other words to invest we have to invest in this we have to gain a basic knowledge of this so now we wanted to, do, to, to present in this particular portion because of the Hebrew, right? So we actually recorded a live vid, and then upon thinking about it, we said, let's try to get a presentation right here going, all right? Get a presentation right here, a, a visual presentation, all right? Let's see if... We can get a, all right, a clear, all right, so the screen, it seems a little bit orangey. We don't know why. It's like a little bit of um, yellow, you know, a kind of yellow when we look through the viewer right here. But if we would not mind that, but let's go on and remember it's the word, sound, and power. And that's what this Torah portion touches on. So let's first bring up, here we was in one of the, one of the search engines right here. Let's see if we bring a little more light. Let's see if the light, the light does change a little bit, although it, you see that right there. But let's, let, let's just maybe get a little more. Let there, let there be light, as it were. All right, so when we go to, uh, let's go to this right here. What's the first thing we want to bring up? Let's go to Re'e right here. So we have Re'e right there, right? And let us bring this Re'e. 
So if you go to the wiki, can you see this right there? The wiki, the wiki search right there. Right, re'eh. Let's try this. All right, the re'eh right there, right? So when we click on this, it says uh, re'eh, re, re'eh, re. So you can see there's a couple of different, um, there's a couple of different uh, possibles. I mean, they're not really sure about that. But we can be more sure because we know Bamarinya is a uh, rai. So re begins by commanding each of us to see, each of us to see, to open the eyes of our hearts and to behold the world that has been set before us. Right now, we were looking down here at some of the other accompanying pages right here. So. Ones and ones, when ones want to get the basic idea, there's a lot of other, you know, places one can go and check out what some of the other Jews have said. But we're going to just stick right here with the basic of the wiki. So when we click on the wiki link right here, right, we click on this particular wiki link. Um, let's see if we can. Yeah. All right, we don't know how come the screen is like that, but let's not focus on that too much. Anyway, so this is this is what we've been studying. This is what we're going to continue to study right here. We touched on this part right here. So what we want you to do is focus on this, but let's bring up um, what we had went to, like, and this is to make that connection with, um, you know, is it Stephen Marley? Is this Stephen Marley's album right here, Stephen Marley? Stephen Marley has the album right here. Arai. I don't know if you can see this, Arai. And it's Revelation Part 1. It says the root, right, the root of life. Uh, it's, it's described as a great, inspiring roots reggae album by Bob's talented son, Stefan. Probably my preferred among, uh, one among his ears. If you love Bob and like the genre, don't miss it and you'll not be disappointed. Great songs and great sound. So this is like a reggae page right here. But let's focus on this one right here. So this is this is this is the album. So we, we have a couple of notes here we want to share with you. Let's go to some of the notes, quick notes that we put together. Okay, you can see this a little bit better. Can you see this? All right. So this is for the Rastafari the Rastafari Sabbatical or the Shabbat, the Sabbath Studies, our RSS number 47. We want to make the connection with the this Hebrew Torah portion number 47. And this is the Shua here. So this is Re-A. Re-A. It would say Re-A. Re-A. Roughly based on these points. Now remember, this is, a, this is the Babylonian, the, 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 the square Hebrew. Right? The Ethiopic, you can see is more of the rounded, the original Hebrew. You understand? And it is the original Hebrew. But notice how these words link right here. Ra-i, 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 like on Stephen, uh, Stephen Marley's album, ra-i, you see ra, ra-i, 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 ra-i. So, Re or re rai re rai re. Now, what does it say right here? It says that they have a couple of possible spellings: r e apostrophe e h r e e h r apostrophe e i h, or just re re when it's contracted. Now, this is Hebrew to see. And now, this is the first word of the parsha of this portion is the 47th weekly Torah portion, the Parasha, in the annual Judaic or Ionized Black Jews and Ethiopian Hebrews and Elect Arastafari. This is our 47th weekly Torah portion as well and in the Torah readings. And it's the fourth now in the book of Deuteronomy or Orit Zedagim or Devarim. Now, Devarim... The barim means the words. Now, it constitutes Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 26, to Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 17. And Jews, and we as black Jews and elect Hebrews with a new name, with that new name as Rastafari, right? We generally read this in August, 
for early September. So now this is the portion that we're reading and studying for the Shabbat for August 25th, 2012. Now different Jews, different communities, some might have read this last week, some might have chose to read this next week. Now in our Torah portion reading and feeding, this is the, pre this is the sign, this is the time. Now what's important about this is first of all, when we heard that Stephen or Stephen Marley had put out his um his album and that it was this this is the cover right here. What a what a beautiful cover right here. And let's see if we can get it a little bit larger right here in the picture. We have the picture right here. Let's bring this up in this uh I'll try what, two hundred? Okay, try the two hundred right here, make this a little bit larger. Uh whoa. All right, so to see, to see, but really, it's deeper than just looking, right? That's why, that's why on, on, on Stephen Marley, or Stephen, excuse me, Stephen, brother, if you say Stephen, excuse me for saying Stephen, Stephen Estefanos, I'll remember but as Estefanos Marley, right? Estefanos Marley album, right? Let's see if we can get that right there. That's okay, that's good, right? Notice this album right here. It says Revelation. Revelation. And notice the La La Bella, La La Bella um, Mescal. La La Bella, La La Bella, La La Bella. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? And it has uh, Andessa and here and here. So we have 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Interesting. Eight and one is nine, and nine is the number of Rastafari revelation. All right, because the square root of nine of Rastafari, the square root of nine is three, and that is Shalase or Salase. That's the Trinity, and man is a Trinity, and the Gusa Neges is Keramawi Haila Shalase. He is the first power of the Trinity, and this is the revelation of Abba. This is the revelation of Father, right, of the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Now, he has here not just to see as the Hebrew says it, right, not just the Hebrew. Remember, the Hebrew, the Old Testament, and our Torah readings is the New Testament concealed. So the, the key in our Torah portion reading and feeding, unlike other so-called Jews or even other black Hebrews who don't receive Yeshua, you know what I'm saying? The key is Yeshua because our main be Yeshua's name. Our main be Christ's name. Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. So it's, it's, it's very good that he has the translation of this or the interpretation of this as revelation. When we look at the book of Revelation and the Met of Kedus, when we look at Revelation in the Bible, we find that the book of Revelation in the Ethiopic Bible is called Ye Johannes Rai, or Raiyo Le Johannes in the Gutters, but in the Metaf Kedus, right, in his Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, his authorized 1961 A.D. revised Amharic Bible, that is named Ye Johannes of John interpreted in Western Gentile, but what does Johannes mean? My brothers and sisters, what does Johannes mean? If you've been following and listening to teaching, you should be able to answer, what does Johannes mean? Johannes means the grace of Yah, the grace of Jah. So this revelation of himself in the person of the king of kings of Kedamawi, Haila, Shalase of Haile Selassie first, it is a grace to us. And our being able to receive him as him and in and through his number one son, Yeshua HaMoshiach, who is the template. He, he is, uh, he, we have to recognize that. You know, we cannot say enough about that connection that of, of Christ, of Yeshua, Yosin, of the firstborn being that key because with him being the firstborn, he has brought forward many brethren, many sisterin. So we as the true and the faithful are truly sons and daughters 
of the King of Kings in and through the Moshiach, in and through Christos, in and through Welde Egeziavi Her Lotusabhat Samu Yitbarek Luul Yitbarek, through the Bain Ha Elohim Hayim. So this is all the revelation, the Rai. Now, this particular Torah portion. You know what I'm saying? Let's touch on this right here. So here we have the album. You know what I'm saying? Here we have the album right there, the album cover. But let's go a little bit deeper. Now we know by Marinya, right, we have Ineho. Ineho. Which means behold. Literally, Ineho means look, see. Here he is. You know what I'm saying? Look, see. Because someone would say, well, how come in the Hebrew... Since this is an Ethiopic word, how come in the Hebrew we have we have um, a re a re a or re a re a? How come we have a re a in the Hebrew? If we look up here, we have a re a a re a a re a. We have this here, and then Bamarinya we have a rai, and we know that this is an ancient Ethiopic Afro-Semitic word, right? But then the Hebrews say, see, it, it, see, remember we said the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed, and the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of folks say, I like the Old Testament, I don't like the New Testament, because there's a veil over their eyes. Or some would say, well, it's the New Testament, it's not about the Old Testament, and still there is an error. You know what I'm we have to receive the overstanding of the old through Yeshua because Yeshua fulfilled those types. This is why the Wengel of Negus and Neges is all about Gitachin and Hanatachin Jesus Christos. This is why His Majesty's testimony is not of Himself, but is of His Son. As He said in that interview to the Emperor of Ethiopia, gives Him the greatest pleasure to serve. Right, Ethiopia, and we Ethiopians at home and abroad, as a father serves his son. That, that's the that's the word of his majesty. Check it out for yourself. What an interesting, you know, saying testimony of the King of Kings. But there is a rai in that. There's a rai because he identifies himself as a father. We identify him as Abba. But he says, to be emperor of Ethiopia, to be Negusha Negesht, the Ethiopia, gives him the greatest pleasure to serve, right? To serve, right? As a father serves his son. You know, let, let's recognize the true spirituality of this, right? And the true spiritual power in this. So now, let's, that being addressed, let's just touch on a little bit more. We give thanks for... Um, Stefan, Estefanos, Marley, you know what I'm saying? And this, just even the album cover is powerful, ain't it, brothers and sisters? You want to see a little bit larger? Let's look at it a little bit larger. It's a powerful, right? It's a powerful, powerful album cover. You know what I'm saying? And we don't know whether it was I and I works or others or whoever, what, whatever the inspiration we say, we say hallelujah. We say, we illalu. We, we exalt. You understand? Nagusa Nagesh. You understand? We exalt Abatachin, Abuna, Kedus. You understand? Our Holy Father. Right? So, Arai. Arai is the vision. Right? Revelation. You understand? There's a revelation. You understand? In Rastafari. And this leads us to the root. Right? The real root of life. And to the real tree. Even symbolically here, the Lalibella Mescal, the tree of life, right? The tree of life. And we touched on that symbology as well. But there's more that, because this is the Kabbalah tree, really, the, the Kabbalah tree. And we look at the Lalibella cross, right? And we don't have a large one here to show you, but if we did, you can actually touch on it. You can actually see it, right? So let's touch on Eneho, the fact that Bamarinya. In the Amharic, it is Eneho, right? It is Eneho, right? In the Ge'ez, right here, if you can see this, is Wenahu. Wenahu, Wenahu, Wenahu. So you can see the similarity, right, of it. Eneho, Bamarinya, and this is actually, actually will be Nahu. 
Because here in Neho, this is saying, and behold, and behold. Do we have enough a time, opportunity to, to, to bring that up? Okay, this is a wonderful page here. I think we've already saved this page. Let's go to the Haile Selassie Bible online. Right, let's go to the Haile Selassie Bible online. Let's see if we can bring that up right here. Haile Selassie right here. And let's go to the Bible, right, the Haile Selassie Bible. And when you click right here, right, you can, the first, the first link right here, Haile Selassie Amharic Bible, you click on there. And what is it, 11, chapter 11, right? Chapter 11, uh, was it, verse 26, 27, 26, so Orit Zedagim, right? Orit Zedagim, let's go to 20, uh, chapter 11 first, right? Chapter, now, if you go here, oh, so, so this is what's kind of bad right here. Some of, some of these pages, let's see if we could bring this over right here, right, if you notice what's happening over here, right? Can you notice that right there? Can you see that right there, what's happening over there, that that it's coming up in the wrong in the wrong column right there. You know, but we're just using this as a sight sample so that ones and ones can see what we're speaking of. So let's go to that verse 20. If you go to 20, 26, and here it goes right here, 26, this is it right here, right? Can you see this? In the hole, in the hole, comma, in the zare, befitache who, berekete ne na, merege me ne, a no ra le who. Right, that's that's the first level of the fida. I don't know if you can see this really really clearly here. Let's see if we can um, uh, bring that over like that. Okay, can you see that a little bit? A little bit clear right there? Now you could tie uh, the thing moving all around. All right, let's see if we can bring that a little bit clearer. Center, center, center screen, center mass. All right, make it a little tighter so so those that, um, those who might be watching this on a smaller screen can even be able to see it a little more circumspectly, all right? So we're, we're down to here. Let's see. So if you read that in the King James, it says, Behold, I have set before you, right? I've set before you today, or I've set before you this day, blessing and curse, right? Blessing and curses, right? So after we learn the basic fidel, the basic level reading is actually just like this, and practice this. Once you, if you say you've mastered your fidel, like some say, well, yeah, brother, I've already mastered my fidel. Well, if you really have mastered, um, let's to resume in right here. If you really have um, mastered your your fidel, right, then you should start to to read like this, and we'll start to practice practice like this. Let's see, zoom. Zoom in, right? You should start to practice like this. Can you see it very clear? Let's see if we can go one more. Let's see if we can go one more. All right, that's the um through. Very good, right? Okay, here, here, here we go, right here. So you can see it center, center, right? If you know your fidels, then it's no problem to practice, and this is how you should practice. Remember, be as a child again. You know what I'm saying? Just like you see on some of the vids with the Ethiopian um. Our uh, Ethiopian youths and the Ethiopian youths going to the ha, hu, he, ha, he, he, ho, le, lu, li, la, le, le, lo. Um, I and I sister wife gave me a very interesting, uh, he told me that there was a story or something of a, I might not be telling it completely the way that she received it, but what I received out of it, I'll share with you, honestly. That she said that there was a one who was praying, and they were just saying the Hebrew alphabet. They were just saying the alphabet over and over again, right? Um, and in their saying of the alphabet over, yes, when they're saying of the alphabet over, you know, it's going through the alphabet, and a rabbi or something had asked them, a rabbi, a mem here, a teacher had asked them, like, hey, what is it that you're doing? You know what I'm saying? They said, I'm praying. And they said, you're praying, but you're just saying the letters of the alphabet. And the... Uh, 
the child or the student or the or the, or the youth, the disciple said yes, but um, I, I I'm praying, but 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 Jah, but Yah, but God, Hashem will be able to put the words together. In other words, it brings their heart, but because they don't know how to put all the words together, they trust. They have such great faith, such imminent, such amen be Christ's name. You understand? They have such a faithful and true witness in Him that they know that the Almighty can put the words together. And and that was a, like I said, I don't think I told the story quite the way that it was told to me. But that the main point of that is just faith, and I want you to share a little bit of it, you know, with, you know, with you, you know, with you all. All right, my brothers and sisters. So let's um, let's go forward. All right, let's go forward. All right, let's go forward with this this particular this particular uh, practice right here. All right, on the on the fidel. All right, so we just want to make this part right here about that connection with Stephen Marley, his album, right? Uh, Stephen, I know I keep saying Stephen. You could tell, you could tell. You know, it, 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 practice makes perfect. But I have to really, you know, we have to exercise our and I will. You understand? To make our wills obedient. So, uh, Estefano. I like saying, when I say Estefano, I get it. It's not to change the brother's name, but maybe he might see this or one might show him. He might be like, you know, I was thinking about it too. That would be Bet Am Bet Am Taruk. Actually, the last place that His Majesty was seen when he so called disappeared, you know, and, and then they killed those priests, was at the, the I think, a Beta Christian known as Caduce Estefanos, you know, monastery, Caduce Estefanos. And if you know Estefanos, he was the first um, martyr, the first uh, Samaet, you understand, of the Samaetat. He was that first martyr. So for his majesty to so-called be last seen as, you know, saying an act, Caduce Estefanos, and then for um, Stefan, Right, Estefanos Marley to bring this album forward, and like we said, we haven't even really listened to the tunes, but everyone who has say it's a wonderful album, and 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 to have the Ethiopic there properly and so boldly, it is a but um you know what I'm saying? It's a very very good first step. But what we want to show is a, is 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 a, is a sample reading for the eye then. So stay tuned in the next part of this, all right? We're going to pause for the chorus. So Shalom Ras Teferi. <laughs> 